Welcome back. Second installment with the Droz Bros to Frontier Fields. Hey guys, welcome back. Right in the heat of 2024 planting season and I am still spreading fertilizer. We're just planting corn, planting a few soybeans and spreading fertilizer and we got guys tilling ground and cool stuff. We're at it the best we can. Ideal planting timeline for us is middle of April to first week of June. This year, it's more like middle of May to who knows when. <laughs> Realistically though, with our, our hybrids that we, we like to plant here to optimize yield, we're looking at from now until the middle of June. We can plant corn, we don't like to. I mean, when you get to May 31st, that's kind of a, that's kind of a big date uh, for us. So soybeans, we'll be planting those for a while. We'll go late into June. So we, we easily have another uh, big month and a half ahead of us, then we go right into side dress. Challenges being weather and cost. It just rains nonstop so far this season, so we've been uh, chasing our tails. Cost of uh, fertilizer and whatnot. Fertilizer has come down, but relative to corn price and our other inputs that we can't do anything about. And so we have a lot, a lot of uh, fixed costs that are increased this year in 2024. And so we kind of have to get creative with our inputs we're putting down for certain fields. And planting season is the, <laughs> the most stressful. It's kind of like for anyone who played high school sports, you had two a days, first couple of weeks of tryouts. <laughs> it sucks, but in the end, you're like, God, I'm glad I did that. <laughs> so you just kind of keep your eye on the prize. Otherwise you think, God, why does anybody do this? Put themselves through this torture. <laughs> so, you know, like we talked, the weather's been kind of kind of crappy here. Typically right now, it's May 15th today, we would be more than half done. We're about 800 acres into corn and about 150 into beans. You know, I hate to make excuses, but the weather truly has been an issue. We're doing about 320 acres of biopath this year. If it does well, you start expanding across more acres, but we're trying to put it on several different different areas to see how it kind of adapts to those places. It's pretty cool stuff, so we'll see how it runs. I'd like to at least make 20, 20 bucks an acre. So what made us want to try biopath again this year was the re for one, the results from last year. We really liked uh, how it performed. Um, we like the philosophy behind it. Makes a lot of sense to us, especially in our niche area. And uh, quite frankly, Mosaic as a, as a company is uh, has a really good reputation. We use a lot of uh, a lot of K Mag over the years, so we're very familiar with uh, Mosaic and uh, very trustworthy. The idea that they want to do a, a program like this was uh, really intriguing. We want to see consistent yield performance this year. We don't want to just see a one year wonder kind of product. It's not always going to be a one size fits all approach, but we want to see it work in other areas too. Consistency is the biggest thing. Making sure it pays for itself is always, uh, always important. Farming kind of came full circle this year for us. We finished harvest on March 25th and we started planting on May 1st. So within a month, you know, so at least none of our corn got to see its birthday. Harvesting is definitely more fun. You're worried about less going Going on planting, you know, you're worried about fertilizer, spraying, field cultivators, tillage, and then obviously the planters and everything, you know, and harvest it's tillage and get the corn out of the field and make sure the dryer's running. When everything's going good, I do like planting. I don't know why, I, but I, I do like doing this. Because everything starts on this first pass. That's the only chance you get. We're starting the game right now, you know? The starting lineup's coming on the court. First quarter's about to start. It's almost tip off. It's the best time. In 23, you know, if y'all looked at the results for Biopath, I think ours was six or seven bushel or something like that. I can't remember now. It's obviously pretty intriguing for the cost that it is. Even at six, seven bushel, it still pays pretty good on $4 corn. If we put in some different yield environments, lower yield environments, will we see a better advantage? Decided to try it again, just checking it out. Out is all. All right, guys, I gotta get back to spreading, breaking my back in this machine. <laughs> Keep following us throughout the growing season, and I look forward to keep going with you on this uh, journey. Keep tabs on us at FrontierFields.com. I'm gonna finish planting this field, I guess, today, and uh, yeah, if you guys could just follow Frontier Fields and check it out, looks pretty cool. They do a pretty good job, so it should be a pretty good show. We'll see you guys later.